Which TV show starred the first interracial couple? Do you think you know the answer? Find out tonight. The CNN Quiz Show TV edition. Hey there, welcome to CNN Proof Show TV Edition. I'm Anderson Cooper. It is Emmy season. Tonight we're going to be testing our CNN anchors' knowledge on television. Three teams face off against each other, answering trivia about the small screen. We're going to cover it all. Comedies, dramas, daytime TV, the late night shows, groundbreaking news events, even commercials. I certainly hope they've studied, particularly Chris Cuomo. At st oh. At stake, a total cash prize of $40,000 to be divided between the charities of their choice. You can play along at home on Twitter. You can use hashtag CNN Quiz. Let's meet the team, shall we? Come on up. <laughs> All right. Team number one, host of New Day, Chris Cuomo and Allison Camerata. Which charity are you guys playing for? For the Huntington's Disease Society of America. It's an issue that's close to my heart. My cousin Jennifer just lost her 46 year old husband and her 12 year old daughter in the space of a few years to Huntington's disease. So we're going to hope to get some money for that. Great. That's well, right. Definitely raise some money. Uh, raise some money today. Team number two, host of Somebody's Got to Do It, which is returning to CNN for its third season on September 27th. We're very excited. Mike Rowe is here and host of CNN Newsroom, Brooke Baldwin. Which charities uh, did you guys? Play it, pick. Well, we just figured I, this guy, Mike Rowe, we were going down the list of charity. We looked there everywhere. Like, oh, we were thinking which one. For one with Get my name it, in the guys. title. Uh, it's called Mike Rowe Works, and we basically raise money uh, for scholarships for kids who are taking an alternative route uh, in their studies, uh, plumbers, steam fitters, pipe fitters, uh, alternative to a four-year degree. The college right. debt thing's out of control, so right. we're trying to help and do what we can for jobs that Save actually exist. Save your propaganda. I'm oh. serious. Oh. We don't have all day. Team number three, host of CNN Tonight, Don Lemon, and host of Early Start, and at this hour, John Berman. Your charity is JDRF, the nonprofit formerly known as the Juvenile Diabetes Research Defending Foundation. Defending champions. That's true. You are defending Thank champions. That is true. Right. Thank you very much. That's true. JDRF is like the leading global organization fighting type 1 diabetes. They do terrific, terrific work, and they've had real success. So yeah, we're right. happy to yeah. Don, did your agent insist that you get team with John Berman again? <laughs> yes. Jeopardy champion, Tom Berman. The, the actual team. charity is me. <laughs> All, right. No. All right. They are the uh, the team to beat. The winning team gets $20,000 for their charity. The other two teams get $10,000 $10, each. Let's get started. The first game is Buzz. Woo. All right, questions in this round are worth 10 points each. The first player to buzz in gets to answer. Players can buzz in before the question is complete, but if they answer incorrectly, their team is locked out from guessing again. You cannot consult with your teammates. You guys ready? Ready. 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 All right. <clears throat> Here we go. Number one, what is the longest running TV series in American <laughs> Network? John. Gunsmoke. Incorrect. Ooh. What is the longest running TV series in American network television history? A, 60 Minutes. B, Today. C, Meet the Press. D, Guiding Light. Mike. Meet the Press. That is correct. <sighs> According to the famous opening narration, viewers unlock a door with the key of imagination and gain access. Mike. To the Twilight Zone. That is correct. Oh. He's good, he's good. During 1991's <laughs> Gulf War, what TV news correspondent and his crew were held captive by Iraqi troops? John. Bob Simon. That is correct. Which famous chef hosted the first TV network cooking show? John. James Beard. Yes. That is correct. Oh. NBC was the first network to broadcast coast to coast in color with what television? Brooke. Rose Bowl Parade. That is correct. Oh. In 1950, oh, my the first television remote was, control was created by the Zenith Radio. John. Lazy Bones? That is correct. Ah. <laughs> Until 9-11, what was the longest uninterrupted coverage of a news event in TV history? O.J. Allison. Mm. Mm. <laughs> oh, this is awkward. Princess Diana funeral. That is incorrect. O.J. car chase, moon landing, JFK assassination, or the Gulf War? Don. JFK assassination. That is correct. Mm. During the entire run of the show Lassie, what dangerous scenario did Timmy not face? A. Mike. I don't think he ever fell down a well. That is correct. Wow! Oh. 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 He's a winner. Get out of here. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I don't even know what that means. 
this <laughs> cannot <my> <laughs> be not fixed. <laughs> he didn't even hear the rest of the question. I know. In 1969, an estimated 600 million worldwide viewers watched NASA's first moon landing. What major news event broke that ratings record 12 years later? A, Richard Nixon resignation speech. B, O.J. Simpson car chase. C, Reagan inauguration. D, John. Uh. Reagan being shot? That is incorrect. I know what it is. That's D, right. Prince Charles and Diana's wedding. Chris. The wedding. That is correct. Right, sorry. In 1979, just before announcing his run for president, Ted Kennedy failed to answer what question from CBS reporter Chris. Why do you want to be president? Yes, yes. correct. Nice. In 1993, millions of TV news viewers watched live as the government standoff with David Koresh violently came to an end outside Waco, Texas. This event reportedly motivated the killers of what subsequent attack? A, Oklahoma City bombing. B, Chris. Oklahoma City bombing. That is correct. Bombing. This is the final question. In 1962, the first live transatlantic TV signals were sent from what AT&T-sponsored communication satellite? A, Sputnik 1. B, Telstar. C, Mercury Freedom. D, Mariner 2. Brooke. Telstar? That is correct. Yeah. Wow. Nicely done. Mike and Brooke are in the lead. Yeah. Yeah. Well 50 Fly points. Chris and Alice in, uh, in third. Don and John in second place. What? You don't have to like <laughs> no, well, it's No, it's, <laughs> in the lead. What? it's nice. All right. When we come back, the point value doubles the, as the players face off in head-to-head -head battle. Stay tuned. The CNN Quiz Show TV Edition. Here are the players' scores right now. It's anybody's game. Chris and Allison in third place with 30. Don and John in second place with 40. Mike and Brooke in the lead with 50. But really, it is uh, incredibly close. Our next game is face-off. Two players from opposing teams face off against each other. They'll be asked four questions. That's it. First player to hit the bell gets the first shot at answering. Correct answers are worth 20 points each. We drew names out of a hat. The first up, Chris versus Don. Oh, Guys, no. time to face off. Don. Oh. Stare into the eyes of your fate, my little friend. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Chris, scary, right? Chris and Don, your I category better than you. You do. is True. television news stars. All right, <laughs> hands behind your back. Chris is not in this category. <laughs> <laughs> oh. That hurts, because it's true. There's only four questions. Number one, on September 2nd, 1963, the CBS Evening News expanded its 15 minutes newscast to 30 minutes. Who did Walter Cronkite interview in that first broadcast? A, John F. Kennedy, B, Martin Luther King Jr., C, Lyndon Johnson, D, Bob Dylan. Don? Dr. King. That is incorrect. Dr. You don't, you King. Don't have to, Dr. You don't King. Have to, can I do it anyway? Yeah, you can do it anyway, yes. Kennedy. That is correct. Oh, my God. Number two. <laughs> and he's done. Oh, my God. Yeah, no yeah. more questions. <laughs> it's a one-hour show, man. Well, I thought we weren't going to be able to fill an hour, but apparently that's not going to be a problem. Number two. Which female news anchor served as a press aide and then a private employee to President Richard Nixon? Chris. Excuse me. Chris. <laughs> You pushed my hand out of the way. Real name Lila, we know her as Diane Sawyer. Uh, okay, very good. Correct answer. Number three. <laughs> oh, my God. Number three. On January 14th, 1952, Dave, Dave Garraway became the first. Ah! Chris. <laughs> oh. I can't believe you got the buzzer faster than me. The Today Show is what you're thinking of, my <laughs> friend. That is correct. <laughs> Final. I know these. Final question. <laughs> 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 yeah. Yeah. Was that there dancing? Is. Was that you dancing? <laughs> oh, was my that? pants are tight on this side. That was Better now. All right. Elaine from so Sciatica. Like sciatica. Or something. <laughs> bummel. 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 Which American broadcaster was born in Canada? A. Peter Jennings. D, B. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> wow. All right. That's a draw. Chris? <clears throat> Answer. You want to say it for me? <laughs> Peter Jennings. That is correct. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Four. Wow. Correct. Wow. For Chris Cuomo. 20 points for each correct answer. Back to the podium. Very well done. All right, coming up next, Allison and Brooke. Come on down. Go get them.
Oh, for Jenny, it's not a lot of people. Right. Right. Okay. Hold down. You guys are in it. Hey, oh, All right. Honey. How you doing over there, Donnie boy? <laughs> How's the goose egg we feeling? We got it. <laughs> All yes, right, all boys. of your questions will be about commercials. All right. Oh, okay. All right. Uh, hands behind your back. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Ready? Four questions. Alka Seltzer has had a number of memorable ads over the years. Which of the following is not a catchphrase heard on an Alka Seltzer commercial? A. That's a spicy meatball. B. That's a spicy meatball. That is incorrect. I just was trying to do B, the B, plop, plop, fizz, fizz. <laughs> C, kid tested, mother approved. Or D, I can't believe I ate the whole thing. <laughs> C, no. kid tested, mother that approved. That is correct. That was a slogan for Kix cereal. Got it. All right. That's the spicy meatball. There you right. go. I didn't yes, know that. Yeah. Which first lady appeared in a television commercial in which she touted good luck margarine? Nancy Reagan, Jacqueline Kennedy, Pat Nixon, Eleanor Roosevelt. Pat Nixon. That is incorrect. <laughs> Nancy Reagan, Jacqueline Kennedy, Eleanor Roosevelt. Kennedy. That is incorrect. It was Eleanor Roosevelt. She earned $35,000 and she donated it to the United Nations. Okay. Number three. Son of a gun. Many famous, many famous musicians have written jingles for commercials, including whom? A. The Rolling Stones for Rice Krispies. B. Janet Joplin for Volkswagen. C. David Bowie for Xerox. D. U2 for Advil. Janet Joplin? That is incorrect. David Bowie. That is incorrect. The answer is the Rolling Stones for Rice Krispies. I was like, that one can't be that it. That can't yeah. be it. In 1941, the first legal commercial in the U.S. aired before... Bolivar Watches? Oh. That is correct. Whoa! That, I got to hand that to you. That's strong. Strong. That All right, that is it. Uh, correct. Allison got one. one. Brooke, you got one. 20 points for each correct answer. You can All right. head back to the road. Let's see, Doug. Final. Finally, no. Mike and John, great. come on great. down. Nobody likes you. <laughs> Nobody. Oh, yeah. Come on, John, please. Make up for Don, John. His was embarrassing. <laughs> okay, all of your questions will be, about, will be about TV cowboys. Ooh. Idiot. This guy is a TV cowboy. <laughs> yeah, Come on. I was told to wear my work clothes. Uh, all right, TV cowboys, four questions. Bonanza cowboy Ben Cartwright and his sons live on what fictional ranch? Me. John. Ponderosa. That is correct. Me. Me, he said. James Arnest. He's quick no like a mongoose, Mike. <laughs> I see that. Number two, James Arnest, who played Mar uh, Marshal Matt Dillon on Smoke. <clears throat> okay. This works. Yeah. <laughs> I was going to say Gunsmoke, but I retract my answer. <laughs> Do you want to guess something? Miss Kitty. <laughs> <laughs> James Arness, who played Marshall, and I'm giving this to you. James Arness, who played Marshall Matt Dillon on Gunsmoke, is the real life brother of what Mission Impossible star? Oh. A. Peter Lupus. B. Greg Morris. C. Peter Graves. Mm -hmm. D. Martin Landau. Uh, Peter Graves. That is. That is correct. Correct. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Hold that out somewhere. I mean, number three. Which Bonanza star participated in Martin Luther King Jr.'s 1965 march from Selma to Montgomery, Alabama? Lauren Green. That is incorrect. Oh. Is it A, Dan Blocker, B, Michael Landon, C, Lauren Green, or D, Pernell Roberts? D, Pernell Roberts. That is correct. Unbelievable. Wow. That is correct. <laughs> <laughs> In his autobiography, which TV cowboy wrote that he was asked to run for office by both the Republican and Democratic parties? Clint Eastwood. That is incorrect. Ugh. Is it A, James Garner, B, Chuck Connor, C, Michael Landon, or D, Lauren Green? Michael Landon. That is incorrect. James Garner. James, James yes. Garner. So All right. Mike got zero. Uh, John, you got three points. Very well done. 20 points for each. The correct Sorry. answer. You guys can head back to your podiums. Let's take a look at the score now. Uh, Mike and Brooke in third place with 70. Don and John still in second. Oh, Chris and Allison have taken the lead <laughs> with 130 points. Taking the lead. I say it again, this is breaking news. Chris Cuomo, Alison Camerata have taken the lead, 130 points. New day. Next, it is a new day. It's all about teamwork coming up. It's still anybody's game. Stay tuned.
nicknamed Quiz Show for teams competing to win money for their favorite charities. Remember, you can play along on Twitter with CNN Entertainment at CNN ENT, the hashtag CNN Quiz. Let's see where the teams stand so far. Uh, right now, Mike and Brooke in third place with 70. Don and John in second place with 100. Chris and Allison way out in front with 130 way, points. Way out, way out. Way out. <laughs> way out. So now it's time to play Picture This. Teammates have to work together, one person giving clues, the, uh, the other guessing. A TV personality is going to pop up on the screen. The clue giver has to get their teammate to correctly guess who it is. You can't use any part of the name, no initials. You can't say rhymes with. You'll have one minute to guess as many as possible, and correct answers are worth 30 points. Chris and Allison, you are in first place. You're going to start first. Come on down. Oh, Get over yourself, all right? <laughs> Don's a little quiet now. Oh, <laughs> a little chasing. It's called the quiz show, not the Chris show. Who oh. <laughs> oh. say? Right. All right, Chris and Allison, your category is animal stars. Sixty seconds on the clock. Ready? Go. Famous dog. Lassie. Uh, correct. Wow. Uh, dolphin. Flipper? Yes. Um, a horse. Mr. Ed. Correct. A dog named after a potato. A dog named after a potato. Irish I'm... last name. Irish. Budweiser. Oh. Uh, Match in the eye. Uh, yes, yes. Move. Next. Go. Ooh, Ooh. next. Oh, I loved him. Uh, on um, Fraser Crane's show, the Jack Russell's name. Ah, uh, buddy. Close. Butch. Uh, after, Bobby. Letter after D. That's Bernie. That's the first letter of the name. Uh, Elmo. Next. <laughs> Elmo? Oh, next. Oh, I know it now. Oh, another famous dog. Three names. The second and third are the same. Oh, it's a type of metal. Oh. Say it. A Rintitin. Yes, next. <laughs> the horse for Lone Ranger. Flicker. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> what? Silver. All right, you got four yeah. correct. Yeah. Each is now. worth 30 <laughs> points. I just want to run through. <laughs> Let's run through some of the ones you missed. The uh, the dog uh, with uh, the, the potato name, Spuds McKenzie. Spuds McKenzie. That was a decent clue. That was, it that was, was a very good, good clue. Good. Um, the one, another one you passed on, uh, Arnold the pig from Green Acres. Oh, did you, you got Yes. No. You guys did very nicely, Thank though. You. All right, Don. Thank you. Don and John were in second place. Come on down. Oh. Oh. That was good. That was that good. good. That was good. That was good. That was good. All right. All right. So first two you Your category is TV fashion. detectives. Actors. Ooh. Listen closely. Actors who play detectives or private investigators on television. 60 seconds on the clock. Ready? Go. Uh, beard, short shorts, helicopter, Ferrari. Magnum PI. Uh, John Selleck. Correct. Oh, shoot. <laughs> Can we do it again? Yeah, start over. Murder, she wrote. Angela Lansbury. Keep going. Uh, Miami Vice. Don Johnson. Uh, Law and Order. Woman. Uh, uh, Carrie Jane Wall. Mansfield's daughter. Uh, uh, pass. Go pass. Uh, Rockford. J J James Gardner. Correct. Uh, Charlie's Angel. Dark hair. Kate Jackson. Yep. Jacqueline Smith. Yep. Correct. Uh... Gosh, this is terrible. One high, Colombo. Peter Falls? Yeah. Correct. <laughs> That's all. Uh, Kojak. Uh, Telly Savalas. Correct. Uh, oof. Pass. Uh, died, Law and Order. Uh, uh, James Orbach. Jerry Orbach. Yeah. Correct. Uh, uh, Hawaii Five-0. Uh, Steve McGarrett. Jack Lord. Yes. Correct. Wow. What happened? All right. uh, you did not say Tom. I said Tom Selleck. You did say Tom. I said Tom Selleck. Okay. Yeah, yeah he did. Okay. Uh, then little, you got nine correct. Each is worth uh, 30 points. So put a lot of scores, a lot of points on the board there. Could have had 10. That was very good. Yeah. Really ah. uh, thank you, sir. Very impressive. It was really hard. Very impressive. Really hard. Really hard. Ah. Right. Finally, Mike and Brooke, you started this round in last place. Let's see how you do. Come on down. Well done. Thank you. Your category is animated TV stars. Great. <laughs> animated TV stars. Great. Wow. 60 seconds on the clock. Ready? Go. Um, rabbit. Bugs Bunny. Correct. 
uh, uh, from the like dinosaur era, the head patriarch of the family. Uh, Dino. Uh, the, the, <laughs> the, the man they would ride in the car Flintstones. and they were like, what's the first name? Fred Keep going. Yes. Correct. <laughs> oh man, this is a great Massachusetts song. Um, gosh, uh, pass. This is, uh, he's uh, not red, but between red and white, they make. They make uh, what color? They make uh, red and white together. Yes. Would make like a pinkish sort of. Right, so that word pink. plus not a lion, not a leopard, but a. Tiger. Keep pink, going. Pinky tiger, pink leopard. Pink cartoons. Pink panther. Yes, Correct. Yeah. <laughs> nice. um, Jane, his wife. George Jesson. Yes. Correct. Nice. Raggy and. Um, Scooby Doo. Yes. Correct. A teeny little um, thing with wings. Cute little. Bird. Oh. Tweety Bird, there you go. <laughs> All right, you got five correct. Uh, yeah. Each is worth 30 points. So we're going to just run over what you skipped. Uh, okay. If she had said beep beep. Roadrunner. Oh, Road sorry. Runner. My and, mind was just uh, Tweety Bird was the Tweety Bird, last yeah. one. Road All right, yeah, beep beep. Yes. Guys, head back. Beard. Take oh. a look at the score. Yeah. 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 Still a very close game. Mike and Brooke in uh, last place with 220. Chris and Allison now in second place with 250. Mm. Don and John have taken the lead with 370. Points ahead, a rapid fire round with big points. Anyone can take the lead. We've certainly seen it before. Stay right here. Hey, welcome back to the uh, CNN Quiz Show TV edition. Three teams of CNN anchors are competing to win a total of $40,000 for their favorite charities. In third place right now, Mike and Brooke playing for the Micro Works Foundation. They've got 220 points. In second place, Chris and Allison playing for the Huntington's Disease Society of America with 250 points. Leading the pack, Don and John playing for JDRF. They've, yeah. got, oh. three, they've got 370 points. The next game... The next game is all for one. Each team will be presented with a set of four TV shows. Now, when I state a fact, the players take turns saying which of the four shows that fact applies to. Each team will have one minute to get as many correct as possible, and each answer will be worth 40 points. So they can put a lot of points uh, for their team. Let's see our, see our players do with this challenge. Let's get it started. All right, you ready? Do I need this? No. no. Okay, then. <laughs> All right, uh, Mike and Brooke, you are in third place. You're going to get uh, first crack at this. Let's take a look at what your category is. Your category is four classic sitcoms. The shows are Murphy Brown, I Love Lucy, The Dick Van Dyke Show, and Roseanne. So all the questions will relate to one of those shows. Right. Okay. All right. You got this? So we're going to put 60 seconds on the clock. Mike, this show featured the first interracial couple on television. That was uh, Roseanne. Incorrect. L Lucy. Brooke, this show was centered around someone who worked in television but lived in New Rochelle. Murphy Brown? That is cor incorrect. Dick Van Dyke. Mike, the main character on this show has been described as Mike Wallace in a dress. Murphy Brown. Correct. Brooke, an actress on this show was the first female head of a major TV studio. I love Lucy. That is correct. Mike, poking fun of the vice president, the fifth season premiere episode of this show was called You Say Potato, I Say Potato. Murphy Brown. That is correct. Brooke, this show was actually based on the real life story of the person who played Alan Brady. Roseanne. That is incorrect. Dick Van Dyke. Mike, approximately 72% of the country tuned in to see the episode of this show in which the lead gave birth. I love Lucy. That is correct. Brooke, all three of the real life spouses of this lead actress appeared on this show. Murphy Brown. Incorrect. Roseanne. Mike, over 10 seasons. Roseanne. <laughs> Murphy Brown. All right, you got, you know, all correct, only did you got nine four seasons. correct uh, answers with 40, 40 points each. <laughs> Chris and Allison, your turn up next. Let's take a look at your category. Talk shows. Four talk shows on the board. The shows are The Oprah Winfrey Show. I'll take another yeah. category. <laughs> Pass. <laughs> Donahue, which was later titled The Phil Donahue Show, uh, The Merv Griffin Show, and The Arsenio Hall we Show. We got this. We got it. You got yeah, it? Yeah, we got it. All right. 60 seconds on the clock. Chris, at 19 years old, this talk show host became the youngest person to anchor the news at Nashville's WTVF. Oprah Winfrey. Correct. Allison, this show's host started their career in Dayton, Ohio, with the show titled Conversation Piece. 
die here? That is correct. Chris, the host of this talk show also won NBC's Celebrity Apprentice. Arsenio Hall. Correct. Mm -hmm. Allison, this show's host was a pallbearer at Ronald Reagan's funeral. Mark Griffin? That is correct. Chris, the host of this talk show met his wife while interviewing her on the show. Donahue. That is correct. Allison, this show's first episode was titled, How to Marry the Man, Woman of Your Choice. Oprah? That is correct. Chris, this show's host also hosted Star Search for one season. Arsenio Hall. That is correct. Oh, Allison, the Beverly Hilton Hotel was once owned by the host of this show. Merv. That is correct. Chris, the beef industry sued this show's host. Oprah after Winfrey. That is correct. Allison, the host of this talk show, conf uh, confronted his guest rapper Vilna Vanilla Ice. Arsenio. Uh, that is correct. Wow. wow. Very wow. nicely wow. done. Good. Ten wow. points. Ten Very points. Good. Each Very are good. worth 40 points. Oh, yeah. We got yeah. ten correct wow. answers. What? Each are worth 40 points yeah. each. A big move for wow. Chris and Allison. Wow. Very wow. nicely wow. done. Nice. Wow. Wow. <laughs> All right, Don and John, the pressure. On? Okay. Oh, gosh. Yes. Oh. The pressure is on. I don't watch any of these shows. Let's take a look. Your category is four medical shows. Oh. Your wow. shows are House MD, Grey's Anatomy, ER, St. Elsewhere. I've never seen one of these Are these shows. TV shows? <laughs> <laughs> oh. We got none wrong. <laughs> okay. 60 seconds on the clock. <laughs> At, Don, at one point, costing $13 million an episode, this show is among the most expensive TV shows ever. VR. That is correct. John, the lead character on this show has a home address nearly identical to Sherlock Holmes, who the character is based on. House. That is correct. Don, this show has been often this show has been often called Hill Street Blues in a Hospital. Saying elsewhere. That is correct. John, a 2011 book about this show came with the subtitle, Humanity is Overrated. Grey's Anatomy? Incorrect. House. Don, this show earned a record 124 Emmy nominations, second only to Saturday Night Live. Uh, ER. Do that is correct. John, two doctors were killed in a plane crash, one killed by a bus, one killed by car accident, and one killed by electrocution on this show. Grey's Anatomy? That is correct. Don, one doctor was killed by stabbing, one by falling helicopter, one ER. by... That is correct. John, this show was inspired by the diagnosis column in the New York Times Magazine. Uh, House, MD. That is correct. Don, to mollify censors, the infamous euphemism VJJ was coined uh, by an assistant on the Grey's Anatomy. That is correct. Wow. wow! Wow! All right, very nicely done. You got eight correct answers. Again, those are worth 40 points each. Let's take a look where the scores are right now. Very, very close. Mike and Brooke in third place with 380. Chris and Allison close in the second place with 650. Very close to first place. John and Don with 690 points. Wow. It is still anyone's game. <laughs> I mean, is ahead, it, is we're going to go. Is it Anderson? Anderson? Well, is it anyone's game? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Mostly anyone. We're going to go to the magic wall next for a fast and furious <laughs> game of matchmake. Stay right here. <laughs> the CNN Quiz Show TV edition. The players are competing for a total of $40,000. It's going to be divided among the charities they've chosen. We only have two more games to play. There are still enough points up for grabs for either team to turn it all around. Uh, here's where they stand right now. In third place, Mike and Brooke have 380 points. In second place, Chris and Allison with 650 points. And in first, Don and John, they have 690 points. So it really is anybody's, anybody's game. Our next game is Matchmake. Each team We'll have one minute to try to complete a match game. The team who makes the most matches in the shortest amount of time wins 300 points. Second place earns 200 points. Third place gets 100 points. I want to bring our first team down to the magic wall and get started. Don and John, since you guys are in the lead, All right, guys. you go first. Let's get started. Oh, excuse me. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Ah. All right, feeling good? Feeling confident? I hate this uh. These are the three categories, the great pretenders. Throne of Games, Live Shot. You want to do Live Shot or Pretenders? Pretenders. Okay. No pretenders. Course. The Great Pretenders. Okay, let's take a look. The Great Pretenders is TV characters. Ooh, you you have to match people? the actor to the character they played on TV. Oh. Diane Chambers, Diane Mary Chambers. Beth Lacey, Julia Baker, Lisa Douglas, Phyllis Lindstrom. You guys ready to get started? Ooh. I'm going to put the actors up on the... Up. And let's go. All right, Shelley Long is... Diane Sorry. Chambers. Tyne Daly is this. 
What do you got? What do you got? Phyllis, Diane Carroll. Phyllis Diane Carroll. Phyllis Lindstrom is Cloris Leachman. Cloris Leachman is Phyllis Lindstrom. Give me, give me Diane. Ava Carole. Gabor is Lisa Douglas. Lisa Douglas. And Julie Baker is. Diane All right. Carole. Right. Wait. 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 Hit it. Wow. Nicely done. Mm. You right. You guys. All five. Good. You guys watched a lot of TV growing yeah. up. Yeah. All right. Let's take a look. Boom. Oh! All five. Correct answer. Nicely done. Not only did you get them all correct, you did that in 16 seconds. Oh. A good time. Yeah. All right. Let's I get the next uh, next group down. Chris and Allison, time for you uh, yeah. to play match uh, okay. okay. That was a little intimidating, Mr. Cooper. <laughs> what just happened there? All right. Two categories left. Throne of Games, Live Shot. What do you like? Do you have any idea what either of these could mean? Whatever they, whatever they are, they will be not what we expect. So just pick whatever you like. I mean, you like Game Please. of Thrones, don't you? I do, but I don't think that's what it's going to be. But I fine. Know. Throne of Games. All right. You have picked wisely. Oh, awesome. thank you. Great. Good. Great. Thanks, guys. Yeah. Thanks so much. Let the third place people Thro get the hard one. That's Throne good. of Games. That's it's so game show cool. host. You have to match the this. person to the televised game show they hosted. Okay. Groucho Marx, Who's Bob you? Eubanks, you Richard you? Dawson, Dick Clark, Bud Collier. Okay. Do you know any of these? Okay. This is the only game show going to put the game shows up and start. Here we go. You Bet Your Life is Groucho Marx. Yes. The newlywed game. I think. Yes. To tell the truth. Hmm. Family Feud is Richard oh, Dawson. Oh, yes. Family Feud is Richard Dawson. $25,000 Pyramid is uh, Dick Clark. You got it. To tell the truth. Stop, 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 stop. All right. Wow. Is it done? What is it? Okay. Very nicely done. Yeah, we got it all right. Yeah, we got all right. You guys watch a lot of game shows? Yeah. Just this yeah. one. Yeah. <laughs> you want to find out how you did? Let's take a look. You did very well. Wow. Yeah. And how much time? Uh, it took you 15 oh. seconds. So you beat Don and John by one second. What's that I smell cooking? <laughs> a little bit of lemon. Oh, <laughs> wow. Oh. That's right. The lemon is feeling squeezed. At the end, I wait up because you got to make slow. lemonade. <laughs> All right. Oh, All right, Mike and Brooke, wow. come on down. Good luck. You know what's going to kill us? Good luck. Good job. Good job. Yeah. On the, uh... <laughs> Should we pick the hardest category it possible? Oh, lemon. Lemon. Oh, yeah. And Mike, I know you are such a news guy, so yeah. this is the perfect awesome. category for you. Super. Let's take a look. Sweaty. Live shot, TV news locations. On this, you have to pick the uh, match the TV news event to its location. Location, Midland, Texas, Washington, D.C., Van Nuys, California, Omaha, Nebraska, Detroit, Michigan. I wish you luck. Well, that's inspiring, oh, that's Anderson. Really, that's Thank confidence. you. You whipped Anderson. us into a frenzy. Here are the news events and start. Uh, let's see. Air Florida crash was DC. Yeah. Well, um, Magic American was attacked in. Uh, Baby Jessica was the. Was that Midland, Texas? Sure. It was either Texas or Nebraska. That's. Well, no, Nancy Kerrigan was attacked in Detroit. And uh, Benson and Quayle debated in uh, Omaha. And okay. a Curry shot outside stop, of Curry. Stop, 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 awesome. Wow, Micro, you are a news junkie. No, man, I'm a good guesser. Uh, I don't even right? know if I'm good at it. <laughs> All right, well, you guessed confidently. Let's take a look. Sure. Well, you got it all right. Nicely done. Very well done. Very strong. Oh, it took us a half hour. 28 seconds. 28, 28 seconds. Yeah. All right, Chris and Allison, uh, you guys won. First place, uh, you got uh, five right in 15 seconds. You win the round. You get 300 points, bringing you up to 950 points. John and John got five right, but it took them 16 seconds. They ended up in second place, which means 200 points, making your, your new score 890 points, putting you in second place. Mike and Brooke got five right in 28 seconds. They ended up in third place. We put 100 points for them, so that's 480 points. Chris and Allison, a commanding lead, should I say? I yes, you should. Oh. Yes, you should. Not so commanding, but a lead nonetheless. I'll take that when we come back. Our final round during the break, they'll decide how much to wager on one last question. It all comes down to this. Stay tuned.
CNN Cluso TV edition. This is it. This is the final round. $40,000 on the line for three charities, the Huntington's Disease Society of America, Mike Rowe Works Foundation, and JDRF. First place gets $20,000. Second and third place each get $10,000 for their charities. Let's take a look at the scores right now. Mike and Brooke in third place with 480. Don and John in a very unusual position. Second place. With 890, John, you are the, you've won every game. No, 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 no. Jake, no, no. Allison Camerata has oh, won it. Oh, okay, all right, all right. We'll edit that out. Don and John in uh, second place with 890 points, and Chris and Allison in the lead, a commanding lead, 950. That's points. breaking news wow. right there. All right, it's all down to this. Our last game is the big bet. Each team will get to choose from a group of four iconic television moments going to ask a question that relates to that event. During the break, the teams decided how much they'd like to wager. If they answer their question correctly, they earn the points that they bet. If they get it wrong, they lose those points. They'll have 15 seconds to come up with their answers, and this time you can consult with your teammates. It is anyone's game. All right, let's get to it. All right, Mike and Brooke, you're in third place. You get first pick. Your options are the Lee Harvey Oswald shooting, the moon landing, the OJ car chase, Princess Diana's funeral. Which one do you choose? Go ahead. How about OJ Anderson? All right, let's take a look at the video. Just let me get to my house. Okay, Please. we're going to do that. I swear to you, I'll give you what I'll you, give you me. I'll give you my whole body. Uh, okay. I just need to get to my house. Okay. I'll okay. Live with the cold. We're going to do that. Just throw the gun out the window. I couldn't do it in a field. I want to do it at a grave. I want to do it at my house. You're not going to do anything. Too many people love you. Mm. Mm -hmm. Wow. That was the infamous O.J. Chase on June 17, 1994. That was also the audio of Simpson speaking to Detective Tom Lang via cell from the back of the Bronco that day at a press conference. Who read a letter from O.J. to the media that many interpreted to be a suicide note? Who read a letter from O.J. that many interpreted to be a suicide note? 15 seconds to deliver it. All I can think of is I need an answer. I think Kardashian is going to be ridiculous. We're, we're on TV. Because it's, it's so close. Yeah, of course you are, Don. <laughs> You're always on TV. <laughs> Fascinating. <laughs> all right, we need an answer. That's all I got. related to. That's all I got. Start with a K. Kardashian. Kardashian. Kirk. Do you have a first? <laughs> no, but he does, I'm sure. What was it? You don't need a first name? <laughs> okay. Your answer is Kardashian? Kardashian? Yeah. That is correct. Wow! <laughs> Right. It was Robert Kardashian, Robert and after Kardashian. the chase, police well also done. found a fake mustache, a beard, and OJ's passport <laughs> right. inside the Bronco. How much did you wager? Show it, Mike. You wagered $14. <laughs> $14. All right. Well, that takes you up to 494 you you points. You did that in your head, man. I That's did. amazing. I, did. I just knew that one. All right. Don and John, uh, you are in, uh, in second place. Which category would you like to select? Lee Harvey Oswald, right? Is that what you want? Always, always go with your first mind. You want to go Lee Harvey want? Oswald shooting. All right. Lee Harvey Oswald shooting. Take a look at this video. I positively know nothing about this situation here. I would like to have re uh, legal representation. There is the president. There is Lee Oswald. He's been shot. He's been shot. Lee Oswald has been shot. That was the live broadcast uh, on November 24th, 1963. That was the moment when Jack Ruby shot Lee Harvey Oswald at the Dallas Police Headquarters. O Oswald was not initially arrested for assassinating President Kennedy. Why was Oswald first apprehended? You have 15 seconds. He was in a movie theater. He was apprehended after leaving a movie theater for shooting an officer, for shooting a guy. I need an answer. He was he was picked up after leaving a movie theater as a suspect for the shooting of someone named Tippett. That is correct. Oh. Oh. Dallas Police oh. Officer. Oh. 
for the shooting of a Dallas police officer, J.D. Tippett. How much have you wagered? 800, all of it. 895. That brings you up to 1,780. Heaven help us is what it says. All right. Good job. Appealing to heaven for help. That tip. <laughs> it all boils down to what category you pick, Chris and Allison, and how you answer it. You need 831 points to win. The remaining options, the moon landing, yes, Princess Diana's funeral. All right, we're going to do a Princess Diana. All right. What? Let's <laughs> take a look at the video. If you're just joining our coverage, the coffin of Princess Diana is moving now past St. James's Palace. This is an incredible picture. Three generations from the House of Windsor. That was Princess Diana's funeral, September 6, 1997. Diana was killed in a car crash in Paris a week before on August 31st, along with her two sisters who accompanied her body back to Britain. You have 15 seconds. <laughs> along with Diana's two sisters who accompanied her body back to Britain. You need an answer? Yeah, I guess go with that. Her brother? You didn't cover this, did you? <laughs> <laughs> that, is, that is incorrect. Oh. Prince Charles accompanied her body oh. back to Britain. That's what I was going to say. All right. It all Boom! <laughs> Let's take a look. How much do you wager? <laughs> 831 <laughs> points. All right. I'm sorry. That brings you down to 119. Don and John. Oh, yeah. Win. Second place, baby. Yeah. 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 Don and John are the winners. Second place. Oh, oh. Don and John are the winners. Uh, JDRF gets $20,000. Chris and Allison, you still won $10,000 for the Huntington, Huntington's Disease Society of America. And Mike and Brooke, you also won $10,000 for Micro Works Foundation. That's it. I want to thank all our players, thank our studio audience, and thank you all for watching. Have a great night.